Moving on to step two, we are now going to use a puppet warp on uh, John Santa's arm here to reposition him. This is something you can do with your figures to change poses or to modify things so they fit a little bit better. So I'm going to click the layer here so that I've got that selected. I'm going to go to Edit, Puppet Warp, and you can see that it's going to put a mesh over everything in that layer. Now I'm going to change the density from normal to more points, which is going to give me a little bit more detail. Now what's going to happen here is if I click um, and make a put a pin into a pivot point, so for instance right here in the middle of his arm, okay, this can either hold things in place or make a pivot point. I'm going to use this as a pivot point in a second here, but I want the rest of his body to stay in place. So I'm going to click and add some pins in other portions of his body just to make sure they don't move. There we go. Now I come back, I click on this to activate it again. I hold my Alt button down and you can see I get this circle and now when I click in drag, his arm is going to bend. It's not necessarily perfect, but it's still pretty cool. I'm also going to come out here, I'm going to click and put another pivot point here. This now becomes a pin holding that in place. I go to my Alt and I strain, straighten his arm out a little bit. And if I want, I can even click here and hold Alt and change his hand. Okay. Now, I'm going to click OK with that. Now, there are some things that are a little bit odd. Um, his shoulder has warped a little bit. Um, I've got a little bit of the horse showing through there on that layer, so that's not a big deal. I'll just go there, grab an eraser, cut that back. Okay, so that's not a problem. Make sure I go back to my John Cena layer here. Now, I want to modify this a little bit, get rid of some of these bumps and things and things like that. I'm going to go to Filter, and I'm going to go to Liquify. And I want to zoom in on this, so I'm going to hold my Control Command button down, hit the plus a couple times, grab my space bar, and move this. Now there's a couple different things, but I'm going to use this tool up here that allows me to move stuff. I can change my brush size with my brackets, a little bit larger, a little bit smaller. And just so you can see the other shoulder, here let me go back one, so you can see the other shoulder, I want these to match. I want to still have the muscle structure in there. So I'm going to, for instance, grab this, and just pull that up a little bit. I'm going to pull his armpit down. All right. And I'm also going to push in his bicep here. Now, I want this to dent in a little bit, so I'll go a little bit smaller with that one and a little bit larger with this one. The larger brushes, you're going to get a little bit less distortion, just so you know. So I can do the same thing up here. I'm going to pushing his elbow, so that's not quite so freakish, and um, push that in just a little bit there, and um, his um, form looks a little flat, where you can see that one looks a little bit curved, so I'm going to pull that out a tad, and push in his wrist a little bit. Let's try this out. Okay, so there we go. So we've got a little bit uh, more natural look to him, and it looks like I might have a little bit of uh, a little bit of double vision there going on a little bit. Part of that might be due to um, the actual resolution of that, but we will play with that a little bit later on. But in a general sense, this is what you can do. You got the puppet warp. You can change your um, position of things, and we can use the liquify a little bit if you need to fine tune that.